Hello, welcome to the little Poké Center where you hear your Pokemon card opening needs back to perfect health. I'm Stefan, I'm here with my son Theo. Hello. And my daughter Trin, who is off screen. Hey guys. We're matching and we're all cool and everything because for today is a grading day. With today's grading, we're going with Tree Frog grading. We really do like their grading system and just their turnaround. So link in description below for their website and Instagram account. Like usual with our grading videos, we're gonna go through the cards that we're gonna submit, check out the quality of them, and then guess the grades at what we think they're gonna get, and then we'll check them out once we receive them, see if we're correct. Fun. We have 10 to grade today. <laughs> That's right, we got 10 cards. A whole bunch of mix from our collection, so we're gonna go through them quickly, uh, check out the quality and have some guesses. First card. Kitchen Pikachu. It's ki <laughs> kitchen? He's in a kitchen. I think he's in McDonald's. It's the McDonald's Pikachu. <laughs> uh, so this is the 25th anniversary McDonald's had in their Happy Meals. So we've got the Pikachu, which is the uh, best one to pull. Let's check it out and then get some guesses. Uh, so the front is very nice for centering. Back centering's a bit pushed that way. Corners are looking very nice, as well as the edges. So just had a quick look over. Uh, let's go for our guesses. I'm gonna go with the Bravo 10. Eight. Card number two. A Builder Bear Squirtle. Nice. So this is the Squirtle Builder Bear from 2013. So let's quickly check out the front. Front centering is pushed again a bit that way. Surface and everything looks very clean. Uh, again with the back, probably centering again. This is, this is kind of more this side. Corners are probably gonna be deducted a little bit. You can see there's a bit of wear and bits of whitening. It just seemed cool. So that is the Squirtle Builder Whale. But not the bad workshop. Guesses for that one. Uh, I'm gonna go with a nine. Eight. Eight. Maybe my guesses are gonna be too optimistic. All right, the third one up. Flareon EX from Radiant Collection. It's a really nice card, let's check it out. Front looks good to us. Back centering as well looks really nice. Corners at the top looking pretty nice. A little bit of whitening there. Uh, there's a little bit more whitening at the bottom. And a little bit of edge wear at the top. Other than that, pretty nice. Let's take a guess. I'm going with a nine. Bravo 10. Bravo 10. Number four is mine. Obviously the Gengar card. This is from Phantom Forces. I'm not too optimistic with this card. At the front, you can see the centering is very pushed to the right. And when we look on the back, you can already see there's a load of whitening in the corners and there's a bit of edgeware on the sides. Oh, I'm grading it. <laughs> but a super cool card. Guess those grades. I'm gonna go with an eight. Eight. Nine. Fools. Theo's is up next with the Umbreon GX from Sun and Moon. All right, so let's check this one out. The front, um, the centering at the top is like nothing there, as well on the side here. So the centering uh, on the front's quite a letdown. On the back is a bit different though. It looks a lot nicer on the back. Corners are pretty solid, as well as the edges. Hmm. Guess that grade. <laughs> Nine. Bravo 10. I'm gonna go Bravo 10 as well. And next up... The Umbreon GX Shiny. This is from Hidden Fates. So really happy with this card. We pulled it in an episode and already pretty confident with this. The front is really nice. Centering looks really good. Back is the same as well. The corners and the edges are like really mint. It's really good. But now... Time to guess. Guess that grade. Bravo 10. I'm gonna go with the Alpha 10. Same. Seventh card, we've come back towards a Trin card that she managed to pull in a pack battle. The Lusamine Full Art. Oh, for 10. <laughs> from, Cri <laughs> from Crimson Invasion. Saying that, right. The centering is pushed a little bit that way, I reckon. Alpha. Ten. Other than that, front is really nice. Back is pretty much the same as well. I reckon the centering's just here. Alpha. 10. And the corners and the edges are really just perfect. Really lovely card. All right, let's go for those guesses. Alpha 10. I'm going Bravo 10. So. Another Trin pool. The shiny magic art from the 25th anniversary Japanese set. Classic collection. The front looks really nice. And so does the back. The corners and the edges as well, just perfect. Really nice. Bravo 10. Yeah, I'll go with the Bravo 10. Bravo 10. Bravo 10's across the board. Next one. The Blastoise Classic Collection 25th Anniversary Japanese version. Again, same quality as the Magikarp. It's really nice. And the edges in the corners. 
You're probably going to have the same guess as then as well. I'm going to go Bravo 10. El Bravo 10. Bravo 10. All right, and now the last one. We've been leading up to this. This is pulled in one of our celebration episodes. We have got the Charizard. Classic collection from the 25th anniversary celebrations pack. Uh, really happy with this. The centering on the front is really nice. The surface looks just really clean. Same on the back. Corners and edges are just really nice and clean. Expecting big stuff from this one. The Alpha 10. I'm going to go Bravo 10. Alpha 10. Yeah. Here, going for the Alpha 10. <laughs> so we're now going to go submit that to Tree for Grading. Again, their website and Instagram account is in our description below. If you want to check them out, we do recommend them. We've used them before and we really like them. Turnaround's really nice and their communication is awesome. That means we'll see you in about two to four weeks. Bye. <laughs> and we're back again. So it has been just uh, two weeks. Yeah, super quick on this one. I mean, Tree for Grading have always been great with their time, quickness, speed. speed. Got the box, really nice box. We've opened it just quickly, just so we're not fumbling on camera. We'll show you what's inside. This is what we see. So obviously, these are those lovely slabs and graded cards. Yeah, the thing I love about Tree for Grading is they give us our top loaders back. It's oh, really okay. cool because we can uh, reuse them for each submission. All right, let's take this wrapping away. Since our two weeks of waiting for Tree for Grading, Tree for Grading have actually got a cool couple of updates that we would like to tell you about. So we all know you get the Alpha 10, which is in the cool pink color, the Bravo 10, which is in the cool blue color, and then grades nine down to one, or in the original tree for green. And they've now added another color. It is orange. What? So orange is for miscuts, autographs, off-centering, like ridiculous off-centering error cards. All right, first card up is the Pikachu. I went for the Bravo 10, Theo went for the eight, and Trin went for the nine. The Pikachu is a... Eight. eight. <laughs> Oh, one no. point to me. <laughs> they got it right. Uh, one thing to note with these slabs as well, Tree for Grading have gone through their third iteration of their designs. So we got like one of the original ones, we're going to pair them later at the end. With the McDonald's Pikachu, you can see it's got eight across the boards, centering <laughs> corners, edges, and surface. That McDonald's grease is still on there. What is up next, Daddy? All right, next up we've got the Squirtle Build-A-Bear workshop card. Uh, I went for a grade nine, they went for an eight, and so did Trin. The grade was an eight. Another eight. So Trin and Theo got that one correct. So you can see, oh, Edge has got a nine instead of the surface, and then the centering corner has got an eight. It's always that centering. Really nice card though. Up next is the Flareon EX. I went for the nine, Trinity went for a Bravo 10. High hopes. Ambitious. Here we go. Yay. Seven. <laughs> <laughs> Very correct. <laughs> Centering got a nine. So centering got a nine, corners a seven, edges got a six, and surface got an eight. So that's what the card looks like. Very nice. Ooh, up next is one of Daddy's few cards. Oh, a Gengar. Daddy guessed an eight, I guessed an eight, and Trin guessed a nine. Okay, here we go. Gengar. I hope for the Gengar. Yay! A seven. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yep, centering got a seven, corners got a six, edges a seven, and surface an eight. So that's what the card looks like. Very nice. The the next one is okay, one of my. Gonna... I went for the Bravo ten, and so did Theo, and Trim went for a nine. And it could be any ball. Game and maybe. now it is a Bravo ten. Okay, nice. <laughs> yeah. Oh wait, this was the shiny one. Not the. Oh no, rare. it's the shiny one. <laughs> the shiny one. Put it in the wrong order. Okay, so <laughs> this is the shiny. Oh, even better. <laughs> uh, you can see here that centering. Got a nine, corners ten, edges ten, surface nine point five, and you've got the cool Bravo Ooh, label. It's hollow for it as well. Our first blue of the day. Next is my other Umbreon. The actual secret rare. And I guess it's a Bravo ten, Bravo ten, and a nine. And the results are wow. an eight. Oh man. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I knew the centering was like quite off, like the top here. It's just like touching right at the top. Oh, but surface and an edge. An edge has got 
Oh, Corn has got a 10. <laughs> so that's that one. Very nice. Next one up is Lusamine. The guesses we had for that were... Bravo. Uh, bra <laughs> Bravo 10. Bravo 10 and an Alpha 10. Yep, Trin's going strong with the Alpha. Here we go. Looking for an Alpha. Bravo 10! Nice! Okay! Yep, so Centrum got a 9, Corner's a 10, Edge is a 10, and Surface a 9. And there's the beautiful Lusamines. Up next is another Trin card. It's the Shiny Magikarp from Japanese Ooh. Celebrations. Alright, with the Magikarp, we all went with a Bravo 10 across board. One yes. Japan. A Bravo 10! Yeah, okay, we all got it right! Nice. Oh, the only thing letting it down was a centering. 9.5! Okay, how close we were to an Alpha 10! Jeez, Ooh. centering. And there it is, the awesome shiny magic up. Japan's Blastoise up next. Alright, so with this Blastoise, we all went for a Bravo 10 across board again. Here we go. Three, two, one. Bravo 10! Nice! 9.5 again! <laughs> Centering! Oh, this is exactly the same as the Magikarp. 9.5 on the centering. The uh, column goes really well with the Bravo label. Mm -hmm. Very nice. And now the moment we've all been waiting for. The whole world has paused for this one moment. Titans are waiting and eager. I'm trying to think of like really epic things to say and my mind's just gone blank. Alright, we've all been waiting for the Charizard, haven't we? So I went for the Bravo 10 and then Trin and Theo both went for an Alpha 10. So here we go, we the final review. The true Alpha. Oh, 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 <laughs> nice! Finally an Alpha 10! Oh, this is like... Alright, yeah, we like you three for very nice. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, look at that. Tens, 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 and tens, and tens. The, out of all of them, the one that we needed. Uh, yes! Thank you, Grown Up Hamilton. Oh, that's really cool. We that is very cool. Okay, so that was all our submissions. What I would like to do now is that we've got like the first designs of the labels back when Tree Fog like pretty much started. So I just want to compare to where they were to what they're doing now. All right, let's check out some old designs with some new designs. Okay, so try to do it. They're super shiny, so <laughs> try to not get any reflection. On the left here with the Vaporeon, that's what the original Tree Fog grading Bravo 10 looked like. Again, you had the the blue hollow flog. flog? Yeah. Frog. <laughs> oh my god. Change your name tree, Frog Grade. It's hard to say. <laughs> <laughs> so you had the hollow frog, but the Bravo 10 on it was also hollow. Uh, I think you've kind of lost this on the newer slab. I mean, the new design is, is way better. Maybe even oh. the Bravo 10 and the Alpha 10 were actually in mm -hmm. hollow. And obviously at the back um, of the newer slabs, they've got like a very faded uh, logo in the back. And on the back there, they've changed it to a pink frog to trick you into thinking you've got an Alpha 10. And this is what, obviously, if you got a grade below nine and lower, you'd get the green frog. So on the left, you got the, the hollow frog. And the again, the grade lettering is in hollow print. Whereas the new ones, they've got the nice greenness. I don't know, I just thought it'd be cool to have a nice little history lesson about tree frog grading. And also some of these graded cards that we've got from our previous grading with tree frog frog. Tree frog frog. <laughs> tree frog frog. <laughs> and the one we just done now will be up for sale. So check us out on Instagram. I'll put some posts up there or just message us on Instagram if you're interested, maybe we can sort something out. Um, I'm not sure which one we're going to put up, but we are thinking of selling a couple. As always guys, please leave a like and subscribe, put a comment down below if you've used Tree for Grain before, like what grades have you got back, did you like the new slabs, what do you like about the cards and everything, I'll, I'll just put a comment down, see how your day is, we'll respond, we'll try to be fun about it. Uh, yeah, I did, as I said before, we are looking at selling a couple of the, the slabs, so check out our social media just to keep up on which ones we are selling. As usual guys, thanks for watching and we'll go see you next time. Bye! Bye. Two, oh no! <laughs> Good. Well, that's it. That's, that's no. it. And I we're back Can again.